We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Only one. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Kid says hello, but Zolf's lost in thought. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see, but leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Boy. Kid surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. We track the final core beyond the city to the wilds. Wild unknown, place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Hmm. Know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Having two. Kids faster than a slinger with those guns. Savage things lurking at every turn. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. What? Peckers got the core, like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. They shouldn't have let their guard down. Mine. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Figures. Wallflowers survived the calamity. It toughened them up. Best take it real slow when pin cushions are afoot. Jawson's boys left all kinds of stuff out here. Kids roused up half the wilds by now. Then Kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me, by a lunkhead. And lunkheads ain't fond of two-legged animals. Good. 
Gotta run. Excuse me, I need to get through here. He's anxious to get back. God damn it. Damn right I am. After one. all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no. It ain't. Not by a long shot. Of course it's not. It couldn't be that easy. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. What? See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. What the fuck? Zolf cursed the city, cursed the bastion, cursed me, said he was going home. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. The breakers. Ain't no one could outrun them. Or their arrows. The gravers. The arm of justice. They seemed unstoppable. Finders keepers. Alright, so what happens when I stick this in? Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put her back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. much to say. Sure, it's uh... Do you know what he's talking about, Squirt? Oh, you just practice dancing. Okay. Hmm. Points just don't get any sharper than that. Ain't never letting go of his old friend with a sturdy grip like that. Alright, let's mix this up. Put the hammer. And... And... And dueling pistols. A pair of slinger pistols is just the ticket if a hammer's too slow. Huh. Right. The city one? brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Oh, goody.
After Zolf's little episode, Kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Joss and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Oh boy. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Damn. Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. Yeah, why? But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. So how did he read in that book to make him smash the place? Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. Oh dear. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good for all I know. Wherever he is, it's somewhere I've never been, somewhere I never want to go. Survivor. No, ma'am. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas fella. Don't have time to play with you guys. I'm Zolf of the Ura. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Fuck you, Zolf. Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds... Peckers, lunkheads, wallflowers, tin cushions, fine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. Needs to stop tripping balls. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Great. Kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. He has the nerve to flash the shield he stole. He's a petty thief. The security's just gonna have to straighten him out.
kid succeeds where the calamity failed. Would you look at what he did to poor old Rondi the bartender? Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. It's so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. He wakes up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff the Bull. The gods, they're all undone. He sees what's left of his lifelong friend. His friend, he's come undone too. He sees what's left, what's left. undone. The What is going on? Thought we'd lost him, but he finally comes to. The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Am I gonna have to trip balls every time I need to get a shard? Oh, what the hell are Boot you? Boot lickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Disgusting things. <laughs> Ever heard of a lung blossom? No. It's bigger than the stories say. The breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung a leak. They say one whiff of lung blossom can make you lose your mind. Oh, I'm pretty 
sure crazy is at least my problem. Mother only knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. <laughs> yeah. A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. It'll do. Stick it in. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. Okay. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. It'll do. Sometimes a single look says it all. Uh, right. Well. Time to start gathering even more cores. Yay! Oh, God, I don't want to trip any more balls.